Now, David writes this psalm after that, and he says, I will bless the Lord at all times. When you're in trouble, when you get discouraged, and you're defeated. And that was David. Here he was running and running and running. And it just looked like that never come to an end. And he became discouraged. And he thought one of these days he'd be killed. But now he says, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. And friends, I do pretty good at praising God on a good sunshiny day and things are going right. Very difficult when things are difficult, is it not? But listen to him. I'll bless the Lord at all times. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Now, listen to him. Oh, this is a great statement. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I have thought about taking this verse and putting it on the stationery of the Through the Bible. I want you to join with me in magnifying the Lord because we're going to find out in one of the Psalms that the Word of God and the name of God are just about the same. And both are important. And we want to get out the Word of God because it'll magnify the Lord. And I just like to say to you with the psalmist, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together in getting out the Word of God today. Now, David says, verse 4, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Now, David, in the first three verses, it's just a praise. This is a hallelujah chorus. Now, he gives us the cause, the reason for his praise. I sought the Lord. He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. How wonderful. And they looked unto me and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his trouble. Can you say that today? Oh, I thank God for the way he's led me. And I'm sure you can, friends. Now, verse 7, "...the angel of the Lord encampeth round about those who fear him and delivereth them." This is the first mention we've had of the angel of the Lord. And there'll be only one other time that the angel of the Lord will be mentioned. Now, without going into any detail today, because I spoke about this back in the book of Joshua, the angel of the Lord is the pre-incarnate Christ. You don't see the angel of the Lord after you come to the New Testament because he's become a man. And he's no longer an angel, he's a man. And when he appeared back in the Old Testament, I think it is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says here, "...the angel of the Lord encampeth round about those who fear him and delivereth them." And the Lord Jesus said, "...I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age." And now here's his invitation. David says, "...if you don't believe this is true, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good." Blessed is the man who trusteth in him. Oh, happy is the man. Say, there's nothing like trust in the Lord. And this is an invitation. 